this is Cosmo Vanguards, I'm Dempster, with me here is the captain. Hi! And we're Victor! Hey! And today, for the first time in Cosmo Vanguards history, <laughs> we <laughs> are doing a body fight unboxing! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, that's just one of the reasons why you're excited. Another reason is also because this right here, this is XSD01, the first start deck for Buddy Fight X, which is a new season, and it is also sponsored by Bushy Road. So thank you, Bushy Road. Yay! Yay! Okay, familiarities out of the way. So this is. <laughs> As I mentioned, this is the, the name for this deck is Demon Lord Dragon of Tempest. Yes, we are doing English because there's only English in, in, in local Singapore, so blah blah blah. Actually, so, there's only English outside, outside of Japan. Japan. Yes. Yeah. So everyone else is playing English, so hopefully we can breeze through everything here. So mm. anyway, um, alright, so the as mentioned, this is um the the this is the start deck for Dragon World. Alright. And it features Gaul's body, um, Arc Resurrected Dragon Butts, right? Yes. But, butts. Butts. Yes. yes. Butts. <laughs> it, it, with yeah. an A, not with, with an U. Okay, so. we will call it Bads, but doesn't sound so good. But, butts is the, so butts butts is the yeah. official one. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, that's Butts right here. And then at the side, we have uh, more... Uh, I can't remember exactly what this name is. It's something... Whatever. <laughs> I forgot his name. It's one of the, one of one of the, the side the streets. Yeah, yeah. Side yeah. Yeah. And then at the side, we have Hepta. Yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> so <laughs> after more indication that it's um, Demon, Dragon, yeah, yeah, Demon Lord Dragon Pampers. Yep. Uh, and uh, at the back we have like uh, we have a how should I say this? This is a card list. The cards in this set, whatever that's in here, uh -huh. and other contents as well. So we have a total of fifty two cards, one flag, and one uh, live counter. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. and then there's also included in here the the rating of this deck. Yep. So you can see it's high on offense, high on offense with uh, okay on defense and kind and of low on technique. Yeah, so yeah, it's an indication that you know anyone can just pick it up and play it without too much thought into it. And also, this is for nine plus years. So if I have, you feel good about yourself, hooray! Yeah, nine plus years. So we are nine plus, yeah, plus 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 plus. So. Nine plus plus plus, and it's nine oh plus times. Nine times, <laughs> and it's also nine plus plus years that we actually get into body fight. So uh, because uh, the new season for body fight X actually uh, dropped uh, not recently, long ago, yes. recently, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a good time for us to actually get into body fight and showcase body fight uh, from uh, from uh, this point of time. Just similar to how we actually started Cosmo Vanguard. Yeah. We started actually in the G era, a little bit later in the G era, but we started off from there, and we've come here so far with almost two hundred plus videos, almost four thousand subs, and yes. all that other stuff. Uh, so we have you. To thank for that, yeah, we have you to thank for 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 letting us have this um, opportunity opportunity to mm -hmm. actually showcase the the, the new body fight yes. products before everyone else able to get their hands on it. So, yep. all right, so with all that out of the way, let's really get into the box because uh, okay, I'm actually new to body fight. I don't have a lot of um, experience. Yeah, with in body fact, fight. in fact, we are all very new to body fight. Uh, except for Victor, Victor has been yes. playing for about a year or so. Yeah, so he knows a bit of ins and outs about uh, body fight more than we do. Mm -hmm. And we also have friends that actually. Uh, uh, do play body fight more often than than they do Vanguard as well. Correct. Yeah, so they're actually quite experienced and they 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 pretty mm -hmm. much have been our coaches yes. uh, throughout uh, our entire time playing uh, mm -hmm. body fight. So alright, so first of all, after we open this setup, mm -hmm. the first thing we'll see at the back is the live counter. This is a very important thing for body fight, mm -hmm. especially if you are joining tournaments. So don't lose it. You need this. Yeah. You definitely it's a must. Need this. It's a and must. You can't yeah. use uh, digital counters because I understand that they have digital counters and you can't use any official counters. Ah uh, yeah. yes, correct. So you can't use of you can't use the digital counters. You have to use the original light yep. counters. So you, you have this, just keep it. You need yeah. it. All sure. right. So um, from what I gather from here, this is uh, a thing called my buddy sheet and BS. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. You sure it's not Marina Bay sense? <laughs> yeah, that's a joke only Singaporeans can get. So <laughs> okay, anyway. yeah. So uh, this is basically a uh, a whole sheet that that introduces uh, newcomers to actually uh to buddy fight. Yes. Actually, it explain like all the phases, your opponent's turns, what you can do, what you cannot do. Uh huh. Uh, the types there. of cards as well. Types of cards as well. Yeah. Yeah. I believe at the back is actually a comic actually, so a very small comic, a very short comic of Chibi Panda versus Buck oh, can't see. Yeah, sorry. Chibi Panda versus Baku. Alright. Yeah, yeah, so so basically it's a small comic that, is, uh, that actually kind of like uh, tells you how to play Buddy Fight. Mm -hmm. So it's mm. reference from the previous um, uh, Buddy Fight uh, trial decks where they actually have like the actual comic that you guys can yeah, to correct. actually see. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is pretty much just in that printed big size for you. Yep. So. And not only that, we also have a paper a paper um, play mat. Yep. So let's open it up. And of course, 
to tie with the season it is in right now, we have the Buddy 5X, X logo, right logo right here. Right in the top yep. corner. And of course, the whole zone itself, it's yeah. the typical. Yeah. So uh, on this side here, they actually do explain um, the two uh, trial decks yep. that you see here. The one we're going through is for this one. If you want to see the one for Dragonfielder, uh, Dragon which is the second uh, start deck to come up for Butterfly X, you can head over to the other video that has the overview of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can actually see what's in this deck in that video. So yes. uh, we'll not go much more into that. So let's bring out the deck right now. Yeah, so this yeah. is the deck itself. Now we're going to deconstruct the deck right now. So. This is the deck that's deconstructed right now. So uh, we'll just like all the products that we've done for Vanguard, we also will do the same for Biofy. So we'll go through every single new card that has released over yep. here. And so the first one we'll start from from Death's side, which is uh, right. so the new buddy uh, for for this uh, trial deck. Yep, there's the new buddy well, for Gao. Start deck, so for Gao. For, so. for Gao. So this mm -hmm. is Resurrected Art Dragon Butts. Mm -hmm. It's called cost, pay one gauge. During your turn, this card in your field cannot be destroyed. And at the beginning, the beginning of your attack phase, if your item equipped, this card gets double attack. Then you have four life or less, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Oh, so okay. just right from the get go, you can already see this is a very a very offensive deck with super high power and a lot of uh, so called cheating skills. <laughs> to finish your opponent in a jiffy. Yes. Yeah. And speaking of finishing your opponent, oh sorry, oh, we forgot the flag. we forgot the flag. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so this, uh, this is to indicate that this is the Dragon Ball flag. Yeah. The flag is very important in body fight. So yes. Okay. Next is the impact. The thing that will potentially finish your opponent off. Uh -huh. uh, we have three copies of it. So this is Thunder Sword X Tempest Blade. So you may only cast this card if your opponent has four life or less, and your cards have attack two more two times or more during this turn. But link attack only counts as one attack. Yep. So the cast cost is pay four gauge and deal four damage to your opponent. So you deal four straight just by uh just by going to your final phase and then calling the impact card. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Casting it actually. Casting your impact casting, impa mm -hmm. casting your impact card. So it's yep. very, very powerful, especially if you uh can finish your opponent off right then and then when he's out of counters and all that. Exactly. Other stuff. Yep. Yep. Alright, next we have uh the one that I couldn't get the name of. But now we finally do. So he's Captain of the Cavalry Dragons, Kagil Bide. Sa! Sa! <laughs> you caught me off guard there. Alright, so his call cost is pay 2 gauge. If you have an item to quit, this card gets plus 1 critical and he has double attack. So once per turn, this card may attack after, uh, may stand after the attack. So which means that you can attack twice in the same uh, attack turn. Alright. Attack phase, so. Alright, next, uh, that's all for the size 3, so we now move on to the size 2s. Yep. The size 2s, we got 3 copies of this. This is Blusterous Bread Roller. Mm. So his only one skill is move. So at the beginning of each player's attack phase, if this card's on the field, you can move it to an another open monster area. Yeah. So, so it plays both defensively and offensively as well, depending yeah. on how you play. How depending you play. on what the situation that you need. So yes. if you have your center open and then you need to cover your center, you can actually just move him straight to the center just before your opponent starts his attack. Yes, correct. Uh, starts his attack phase also, basically. Yeah. Right, then the next one that we have here, we are blazing through this because there's not much to say, we're new to this. <laughs> uh, but if I, this is Uncharted Water of Source. But, so basically the one that we have here right now is actually Frontline Blacksmith Rectangle. Mm -hmm. Well, rectangle. Yes, I know. <laughs> I <didn't start> really. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so here's a core cost, which is a pay one gauge. Then uh, when this uh, card enters the field, you may equip a Thunder Empire item from your drop zone by paying its equip cost. Yep. And this card has Penetrate. Now what Penetrate means is that if this card attacks and destroys your opponent's uh, monster in the center, then this card deals damage equal to its critical to your opponent. Yep, similar to Trample in Magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so think of it that way. Um, if this destroys our opponent's monster in the center, it passes through. Mm -hmm. Literally what it means. So. Yeah, literally what it means through. Mm -hmm. So and then yep. the critical is 2, so that means you do 2 damage to your opponent if you destroy the monster in the Correct. center. Correct. With him. Alright, so the next one they have here, yeah, that's all the, the level, the, the size, size 2 monsters. Two. Now yes. we're going to the size 1 monsters right mm -hmm. now. So this is a vanilla, plain vanilla. This is Ring Blade Wielder Ring. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's got no skills. It's got no skills. It's just pretty much a vanilla uh, 5,000 attack, uh, 1,000 uh, defense. Two yeah. critical uh, monster to call, so it's actually yep. pretty, pretty, pretty good. good so. Yeah, speaking of vanilla, we have another one over here. Uh -huh. This is Lance Knight Decon. Decon. So yes, four thousand, four thousand, four two one. We're gonna be using. Yeah, we're gonna be using this format four two one, so it's easier for us. Similar to like you know, in Vanguard ten k, twenty k, fifteen k. Yeah, kind of so it's like four so, two one. So yeah, four is the attack. Two is the uh, critical, and one is the defense. So mm -hmm. you know that your center number will be the critical for. The yes, value. correct. 
Alright, next we have um, Monohorn Dragon Kornos. Hmm. This is a nice design for... for uh, yeah, so exactly. It makes me want to hunt it with my, with my hammer, so... <laughs> not. What is this, Kirin? Uh? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm pointing at. So. <laughs> okay, so he has a single skill. When this card enters the field for this turn, a card on the field gets 2k attack. Oh, so it's basically like Chrono Charge uh, Unicorn in Something that. Something like that, so. like, like Starlight Unicorn or, you know, that kind of thing. Like. Very, very, very similar to Vanguard. Yes. However, it's the same company, so uh, they do share similarities. Which is actually pretty okay Considering that uh, It makes getting to Their different games Actually much more um, You know uh, Easier Easier yes. to get to So that's uh-huh. pretty much A pretty cool part about it So that's all for the Size 1 monsters Now we're going on to The size 0 monsters There's only one actually uh, when There's only one Size 0 monster And mm-hmm. so So this is a Replenisher Heptor Mm-hmm. So his uh, ability is that uh, when this card uh, enters the field, if you have a Thunder Dragon equipped uh, item equipped, uh, and Thunder Empire, the Thunder Empire, I, even in English I can't read. <laughs> if, okay. if you have a Thunder <laughs> Empire item equipped, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So basically, yep. you get to charge one from your deck mm. uh, just by having this card enter the field, which is actually pretty useful for. Uh, useful uh, only if you have an uh, item equipped. Really. Yeah, if you have an item equipped, So once yep. you have the item equipped, he goes out from there. Then it's pretty much. Uh, easy game from there and so you you be able to get the much needed gauge that you need yes. considering that I've seen a lot of this ha- actually has a pay one gauge cost yeah correct uh-huh. right, so, so after all the monsters are done we'll now move on to the spells yep so the spells the first one that we have over here is mm-hmm. destroy x thunder you may only cast this card if you have a Thunder Empire on the field. The cast cost is pay one gauge, and what it does is it destroys an op- a monster on your opponent's field. Mm-hmm. Very simple, very clear card, and it's very easy to use as well. It's just for one gauge, you get to destroy something without any limitations whatsoever. However, it does not come with uh, with the tag called um, Counter. So yep. basically, you can't use this as an instant to sort of uh, destroy your opponent's uh, monster uh, in mid-attack, that kind of thing. Yes. So this is can only be played during the main phase. Correct. So unless he has a counter, you you cannot play this uh, as a as like an instant uh, spell in yes. that regard. So. Correct. Alright, so the next one that we have here, the next spell that we have here is uh, a Distinguished Replenisher. Yep. How very distinguished him sitting like that with his belly <laughs> showing up. Can you not? Yeah, I'm going there. So <laughs> I'm going places, people. So I, uh, you may only pay, you may only cast this card if you have a Thunder Empire monster on the field, which is pretty easy enough as it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, then um, the second one is put the top three cards of your deck into your gauge and you gain one life. So yeah. you get to charge three from your deck and you gain one life as well. Mm-hmm. Which is help for balancing out because you don't really want to be sitting at four uh, all, the time, the, yes. all the time. Yeah. So this one will really help you kind of like recover back some of that health and mm-hmm. such. And also recover some gauge as well. Yep. So the next one that we have here, this is Thunder X Energy. Mm. Uh, so this is one has the counter, which is the thing that I was talking about earlier with uh, Destroy X Thunder. Mm. Uh, so uh, its ability is that you choose the Thunder Empire monster in battle. And for the battle, it gets plus 3,000 power, 3,000 defense, and counter attack. Now, uh, counter attack is that uh, if a card, uh, if this card is still on the field after an attack, you can choose a monster that attack with defense less than or equal to the monster's power and destroy it. Yep. So basically, what you can do is that uh, with counter attack, you can actually, if you survive the hit, uh, then this, then this, then the monster that, that just got attacked can actually kind of like. Attack back uh, Attack back To yeah. uh, any monster That you can I thought it was only Back to no, the attack Only to the attacking Only to only attacking, to attacking. Yes. yes Only to attacking That attack Yes correct so we, we don't bend the rules Of body fight here <laughs> Fair enough Fair enough, fair enough. So, Alright Next we have Two cards That are a staple To all Dragon World mm-hmm. Well most Dragon World decks Right Victor? I myself I play Dragon World So those are really Really key shoes. Yeah Why am I saying that Because the first one We have here Is the blue dragon shield Or as I like to call it Serio no Tate! Okay, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so you may only cast this card during an attack in your opponent's turn and if you do not have a monster in your center. So, the counter skill is to nullify the attack and put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So not only you get to nullify the attack, you also get to charge one. So you can use more of your... Uh, you can you can pay more of your gauge to do other weird things during your turn as well. Mm-hmm. My eyes are kind of locked onto the flavor text that's, that's written down there. What so. does it say? Warrior who doesn't fear pain. Your courage is most commendable. May thy blessings of the blue dragons be upon you. Wow. I am yeah. thou, thou art I. <laughs> Are we gonna wake up, get up and get out there now? <laughs> well, this is well this is the first time we're doing butterfly stuff, so I guess we are. So <laughs> we're going places. Yeah. Alright, the next one is also another staple, like I mentioned. Uh-huh. So this is Green Dragon Shield, Yokuryo no Tate. Oh, I actually remember it. <laughs> Alright, so same thing. Uh, same as Blue Dragon Shield, you may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn and if you do not have a monster in your center. So instead of charging one, you nullify the attack and you gain one life. Alright, 
So there's four days and there's two days, but I'm a little bit confused. Mm. Uh, in Vanguard, you only allow four Sentinels or four PGs at maximum in a deck. Uh, However, there's six nullifies here. So how many nullifies is there? You can play as many as you want in your deck. You can hey, you can play a 50 deck of nullifiers. Yeah, but the restriction is the same as Vanguard. You can have four copies of one card each. Like yeah. Mm, so there is no limit. There is no such thing as like say a keyword that's only for sentinels or like yeah, nullifiers yeah, yeah. kind of mm-hmm. thing. No, it doesn't exist yeah, here. Yeah, it doesn't exist here. Yeah. So it kind of get me confused as to why there are so many nullifiers in my my own deck. Don't like, worry, Vic and I got your back. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. This right. is just uncharted waters for a Vanguard player like myself. No worries. All right, next we have the items. The spells are done with you, so we're moving your items. So we have two copies of this. This is electric spear. Equip cost, pay one gauge. So how to equip? You equip it. You put it on top of your flag. That's it. Mm-hmm. So if you have two or more Dragon Empire monsters, uh, Dragon Empire, <laughs> Thunder Empire monsters on your field, this card gets penetrate. Don't shock yourself using this. <laughs> That's the flavor text right there. So. Yeah, don't shock yourself. Yeah. So it. this is the much, uh, this is the much spoken about items. One of the two items that you can get in this deck. Yep. And the other one that you can get here is um, a Dragon, Dragon Dagger. Dagger. No skill. No skill. But it's basically a three two. So, yes. uh, so it's, it's the one that ba- that Gao always uses in the anime. Mm. It's like the, the 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 staple equipment for him already. Uh, technically no. No, Not really. This is in the anime, it's in the booster. Oh, in the booster. That means he cheated, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, it's just Gal, so. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, but this is a, this is similar to that. And yeah. not only that, also, there's no cost to equipping it. So, also, it's just as long as you have it in your hand, you can just put it yeah, down. You and you basically have another attack from yeah. yourself uh, against your opponent mm-hmm. and such. And lastly, we're not going to put any anything out for this, but this is the Dragon Wall flag. You need this in order to play Dragon Wall cards oh. and generic cards. So, um, this is very important as well. You so have to have a flag in order to build a deck and play it. Yeah. So, so this is... What you're playing for? Yeah. 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 So, um, I know that Dempster has uh, seen this deck at, back at uh, Springfest. Uh, they did uh, feature yes. the, the deck at uh, Springfest, this is showcase what the deck can do. But Vic, mm-hmm. were you there as well? Yes, I personally tried the deck out uh, during the preview fight. Uh-huh. And I could dare say it, it really, it's really, really very, very aggressive. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so of course with the boost uh, with the boost coming in in um, the Dark Lord's Rebirth, rebirth. <laughs> sorry I'm reading right there uh, yeah the Dark Lord's Rebirth has a lot of boost for the Thunder Empire because it's a new archetype as well I forgot to say that um, so a lot of new cards that help boost this deck in a much more aggressive way than it already is right now mm-hmm. so it can potentially do a lot of crazy things yes. but we will leave it to you how you want to do it mm. but for now uh, if you want to see this deck in action where well, we actually have a trial deck fight between this and uh, Dragon, Fielder, Dragon Fielder thank you <laughs> yeah I was talking about it so we have a fight between these two heads they're gonna go against each other I'll try one duke it out <laughs> duke it out in an offense versus defense fight yep. so um, you can head over there right now to see the video itself mm-hmm. so but for now this is all that we have for this video so if you want to see more Crossman Vega shenanigans and hopefully more buddy fight uh, content as well, do some consider subscribing to us here on Crossman Vanguards mm-hmm. and ring that little bell so you can get notified of all our updates yeah. and uploads, be it um, weekly or you know at regular all. or impromptu. So. Yes, mm-hmm. and also uh, do consider following us on our show, uh, socials as well. We are on Facebook at Crossman, Crossman Vanguards, our Twitter at Crossman VGS, and our blog at CrossmanVanguards.com. So you'll see a lot of weird things there that you don't see on this channel. Simply put. Ding, ding. And lastly, we have a Patreon as well. So if you want to see even more things coming out from us, do, and you want to support us even more than we you already are right now, mm-hmm. do consider going over there and pledge some money to us, and maybe we can, you know, we will come up with more interesting things for you guys, like uh, more ambitious projects such as Venga Red series and a lot more content. Mm-hmm. So we're moving on to the body fight right now, and we hope we can keep this up as much as possible. Yeah. But for now, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.